Yeah, we back, folks. Back, ladies and gentlemen, with the second round of the show. Yeah, don't forget about our good sponsors, Benny's Big Store, American Bank, and Targill, Season of Butcher Supplies. I wanted to mention something, too. Mm -hmm. I was stopped by, get my hair trimmed the other day. Hair trimmed? Karen's, yeah. Karen's. They over there by the Mid-South Bank across that little street on the side. And they have, they have over there a therapeutic massage center and salon. Sure they had 228 East Leonard Street, right there across from Mid-South Bank. Man, yeah. The number's 942-9212. Let me tell you what they got. They got manicures and pedicures. They got tanning, waxing, uh, uh, lashes by Dana. Mm -hmm. No drill, acrylic nails by Sharon. Facials by Karen. Mm -hmm. And, uh... They have this relaxing Swedish massage, deep tissue, and hot stone massage. You know what that is? <laughs> they got some heated stones they put on you. Is that right? Yeah, man. <laughs> they tell me that really works your muscles and your uh, oh, aches and pains. It gets down in there. Sure some now. heated stones, yes. Uh, heated mm. hot stone massage. <laughs> I want to try that, man. Yeah, give it a try. Yeah, man. And, uh, of course, Dan and, and Karen cut hair. And they get low lights and haircuts and color and highlights, wash cut and style. And man, they got all kinds of tail neck. I mean, not tail neck. Nail tech over there. Fix you all your fingernails up. Sure no. They got it going on over there, man. They got all <laughs> kinds of stuff. Yeah. But they have a summer special also. Free 15 minute facial with purchase of highlight by Karen. Mm. And free hot rocks. Added to one hour massage with Aaron. Mm -hmm. One month training, tanning, I mean, for $24.95. Some specials, wow, yeah. You got a all. tanning bed in there. Tanning yeah. deal, you know. Yeah. But man, that hot, hot stone massages. Hot That's stone cool, massaging. Huh? Yeah. Um, man, uh, this is another deal I want to mention. It's, it's, it's uh, DNI's DJ service for weddings. Mm -hmm. Graduations, birthdays, any occasion. Yeah. Call Dylan and Ian. That's uh, at 308 94, I mean 4595. And Ian is 351 1181. And man, I think, I'm not sure if that's Bobby Gitro's grant. I, somebody, I forgot. Somebody we know real good, you know. Mm. Forgot who it is. But anyway. Uh, DNI's DJ service. DJ That's service. It. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh, anyway. by, by the way, ladies. Uh, by the way, I want to say con uh, thanks to Miss Linda Richard for looking at our show. I met her in hospital while I was getting my lunch, and she come in there and she say, "Do you the pepper and salt pepper team, man?" I said, "Yeah." So, Miss Linda. Uh, Thank you for looking at our show. I appreciate it. So you're a celebrity. Yeah, yeah. She calls. She says, yeah, salt and pepper team. <laughs> <laughs> the salt and pepper team in yeah. St. Andrew Parish. I know. That's keep, a good deal, huh? Yeah. Keep looking, Miss Linda. The only salt and pe pepper yeah. team in yeah. St. Yeah. Andrew Parish. St. Andrew Parish. Uh, yeah, I wanted to say, uh, boy, man, the farmers, the soybeans and yeah. the rice and the uh, sugar cane prices are up, man. Uh, Byron told me he booked his beans at $14 a bushel. $14 a bushel? And they up to 16 I think, now. Whoa. Boy, that's nice, huh? Mm-hmm. It's about time the farmers get some break, huh? Oh, yeah, they need it. They work hard, they man. One, they work from they daylight one, to dark they every day during the season. They're the one putting season food in our season. stomach. Without them, we could starve. It's a, it's a big deal to farm, <laughs> man. You, you, you plow and plant. Oh, yeah. Then you got to keep fertilizer on. Sometimes they hire those, those planes to come in with crop dusters and cut dust their crop. Up. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, insects and yeah. uh, weeds and all kind of stuff like that. And then, then the harvesting season, they work all, man, they work all uh, hours, you know. Yeah, that's right. As long as it's not too humid, humid, then they can they can even harvest at night, you know. I know. They work hard, boy. So they deserve a break. Oh, huh. yeah. oh yeah, they deserve a break. They need to be making the money they need to make to survive, yeah. you know. I know. I do. So... Uh, Byron Boudreaux at Prairie Contractors, man. Prairie uh, Contractor. Yeah. 
I talked to Byron the other day. He says they stand busy, and that's a good thing. When you're a good contractor, you stay busy. They don't want doing them roads along the service road and all that's that. That's uh, Gilchrist, but they probably furnishing the asphalt for that. Uh, yeah. And they may have some of the road work. I don't know, but uh, yeah. I know Gilchrist has some of it. That's Randy Gilchrist and them over in Alexandria. Yeah. Yeah, we broke our teeth together, me and Randy. Randy and I. Uh, that was my first big state project was in Ville Platte, Louisiana. Oh, and we were doing a four lane in the, the highway over there in Ville Platte, not the four lane. And that was years ago. And that was Randy's first job <laughs> that he had gotten state work, you know, as a contractor. Sure and enough. it was my first state job as, as a, in the concrete business. Mm -hmm. And I pulled all the concrete for it. And I'll tell you, we were rookies back then, but we made it. Y'all made it. Oh, we did good, yeah. <laughs> We handled yeah, that job, and yeah. uh, we did it right. Of course, back then we were pulling on Woody Harvey and all the time asking him what to do. You know, we wasn't, we yeah. were rookies, you know. Yeah. And Woody, Woody was young too, you know. Yeah. Did y'all ever work with uh, Daniel and Ryder? They were some uh, Oh, no, they men. were gone by that time. They were, they Daniel were gone and by Ryder, that, yeah. <laughs> they paved all the gullies here in Opelousa. They paved all St. Leonard Parish. Yeah, they, they did a lot of concrete all, They work. paved like all them uh, road in Opelousas, like where my mom and them lived, they did yeah. all that. Yeah. Daniel and Ryder, that was Bubba <laughs> Daniel and Cliff Bubba Ryder. Bubba Daniel and Cliff Ryder, that's yeah. right. Yeah. They that's were in big. the old days, man. Oh, yeah, man. Well, I can see we were in the old days. Boy, oh, that was uh, probably in the 80s, early 90s. At that time, that. Pope, they had people crying for, 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 for paved road all over the Opelousas. Because most yeah. of all them, sub, them little subdivisions was right. nothing but gravel road. No, they were just dirt, period. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. A brand new house with just dirt. <laughs> yeah. That was the old days, man. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Hey, I want to say hi to Edward Chauvin, Chauvin Chiropractice in Abbeville, Louisiana. Chauvin. Edward's a guy I grew up with, man. He's a great guy. Is that the same Chauvin had Chauvin's department Men and boys, show? Well, yeah, that yeah. was his Men daddy. And, boy. Yeah. And, then, and then I want to say hi also in Abbeville to Mr. G. Mr. Guy's G. name is Gerald Landry. Sure enough. Yeah, he's got an insurance company over to him and his wife yeah. have an insurance company in Abbeville. Mr. G, Gerald, Gerald Landry, Landry, good friend of mine. I remember Hi, Gerald. that name good. I mentioned you on the show. If anybody sees Gerald Landry and Edward Chauvin, tell them we're talking about them. Stop by and visit with them. Uh, tell them we sent you, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, yeah, I was talking to get away from uh, the subject. I was talking to Byron Boudreau. It was prayer contracts. He was asking me all about the economy and how so, I thought things were going. I said, it looks like it's trying to pick up a little bit, you know? Mm, it is a little bit. It's not nearly what it was a couple of years back, oh, but, no, uh, but, it's coming. but it's trying to move a little bit and things are trying to go. <laughs> and uh, I, I visited uh, this guy, uh, Lee Venable, over at Cajun Palms Resort in Henderson. Man, if y'all get a chance, need to go by and visit this place. It's a, it's an RV resort. RV and man, resort. I was looking at it, you know, I went over there and visited with Lee Venable probably for an hour, an hour and a half, and mm -hmm. just talking to him about his trailer, uh, you know, motorhome resort and RV resort. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's got a setup over there. He's got a, a bar with a swimming pool. You can swim up to the bar in. Sure. And uh, he's got a bar set up. He's got a pavilion for having bands and everything, and they got a full list of stuff that they do over there. Sure. You know, every weekend they got activities going on. Where they got located? Wayne Toops. That's in that, it's in uh, Henderson. Henderson. Henderson Bro Bridge, yeah, you yeah. exit on the Henderson yeah. Bro Bridge exit yeah, over there. Yeah, I heard Bobby in Henderson. Now in, uh, his place. Oh man, it's a nice place, boy. Kitchen. I think Bobby's got a big motor home. He might go over there yeah, sometime. I heard I him know. announcing his place on this talk show. Oh, yeah, man. They got them big $2 million mobile homes that move in there, and they got camper trails, long, them big long camper trails mm -hmm. and stuff. And uh, they got a sure fine setup, man. They got even Easter egg hunts and water balloon fights and egg tosses and family events. They got Wayne Toops and Gino Delafoss and all kind of swamp pop weekend. They got a they got a list of events you can go outside. People that don't even have trailers and uh and RVs and stuff like that can go over there. Uh, you know, just uh, 
people off the street want to go listen to some good entertainment, sure enjoy enough. a family atmosphere. It's nice over there. That's in Henderson. That's in Henderson, That's Louisiana. In Louisiana. Man, you got, oh man, I don't know how many uh, trailer park deals, but you want, I tell you what, they booked up pretty much, so you got to call in advance yeah. if you want to get a good place. But uh, that's right there. And they have a website at www.cajunpalms.com. So you might want to look at their, uh, their set up there, um, right there in Henderson. Uh, marijuana for sale. Marijuana for sale. You can buy marijuana in the stores now, It'll be folks. illegal. It's going to be legal. It's going to be legal. Yeah, it is legal. legal I was already. in uh, picking up something in Port Barry, some crawfish, mm -hmm. and I stopped by to get some Cokes at the little shell station over there. Sure and enough. they had a guy buying some marijuana. I said, what is that? He was talking to the clerk about it. He said, that's marijuana. <laughs> I said, man, what you doing with I that? come in the pack. You're going to get in trouble. He said, uh-uh. He said, and then he pointed to this little case they had over there, you know? Yeah. And inside that case, there was marijuana for sale. Marijuana and you buy the sale. little pouch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then later, a uh, few days later on a, uh, it was Saturday, that was on a, Tuesday on Wednesday. On Saturday, I had some guys come work at my house. Mm -hmm. And they were doing some work for me, and I was talking to them about that. They said, oh, yeah, we bought some at the Tiger Track. Tiger Track? They said, we bought it at the Tiger Track. No. So I can't believe they're doing it. But, you know, yeah, yeah, they all... legalize uh, alcohol. I guess they legalize marijuana. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, and it's going to go down. The price is going to go down, and the people are going to stop using it. <laughs> well, uh, they said, it, it, like, drug tests and all, they don't mm. detect that uh, some kind of man-made yeah. marijuana or something. But it, uh, I don't know. I don't smoke that stuff, but anyway, I thought I, I said, man, here we go, man. Yeah. Marijuana for Bad sale, for boy. Sale. And uh, I wanted to mention my good friend Lloyd Ardwan with Melanson Funeral Homes. He listens to our show all the time, him and his wife, buddy. And uh, I wanted to, uh, I think Melanson wants to be a sponsor on our show, which we do have an opening. So, Lloyd, if you're out there listening, give us a call. We'll try to fix you up, buddy. Um, Melanson uh, Funeral Home, Lloyd Ardwan. Boy, mm -hmm. and he's around, man. He gets, a, he, gets a, he gets around a lot. Yeah. Uh, we got so much stuff to talk about. We sure enjoyed our show. Yeah. Uh, don't forget about Dr. Richard Harmon in his mm -hmm. book, uh, 100 Years, St. Landry Catholic Church. It's a good gift, folks. Give yeah. us a call. Don't forget call Dr. Our, office. our insurance agency. Insurance Dijon White Insurance Dijon Agency. Insurance, Catholic Bookstore. Come yeah. by and see us, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll be come by back next week at the same time. Show. Thanks Hope for listening. Tune in next week, and uh, we have a, hopefully a good show lined up then. Yes, sir.